handful of American finance and tech tycoons are gearing up for multi-billion dollar bids to buy TikTok after President Biden signed an act forcing its sale, but they are going to face a major challenge. They may not be able to purchase the ultra-addictive algorithm, the technology that hooks us for hours on the apps as it shows us videos of people dancing and cats. And that means a potential buyer would only get a brand name and a user base, and they'd have to rebuild the technology and the team creating it from scratch. They're also going to have to raise as much as $100 billion to purchase the app, convince the Chinese government to allow the deal, and persuade TikTok's shareholders they are the best person for the job. Not a lot of people can manage that, but here are the likeliest contenders. Bobby Kotick, the former Activision Blizzard CEO who sold the company to Microsoft in a $69 billion deal, may be best suited to actually both create an algorithm and build a technology company since he's done it before. Kodak has already spoken with possible investors, including OpenAI CEO Sam Altman, about finding a consortium who could create some kind of deal. Former Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin has been the most public about his interest, declaring on CNBC that he is putting together a group of investors. He's raised money for hedge funds and even movies like Avatar, but he doesn't have experience actually building a tech company. Bill Ackman has not stated publicly he wants TikTok, but Wall Street sources are buzzing he may be interested and that he could use a special finance vehicle he created last year as a way to quickly raise money. That vehicle's listed in the public market and can raise an unlimited sum of money to buy a privately traded company like TikTok, and it does not yet have a target. Finally, Beltway sources are speculating another potential buyer, Jeffrey Yass, the Susquehanna founder worth north of $30 billion could be interested. He already owns 15% of ByteDance, TikTok's parent company, and sources say he has a lot more cash to buy a larger stake. The firm's deep ties to ByteDance and China make it well-positioned to convince the board and the government that he should get the app.